Even in the most extreme case of denial, no one can argue that the budget process is working. We're in budgetary trouble in the long run in the United States. We've made too many promises and not figured out how we're going to pay for them. So we need to think about the substance of the budget. What do we want government to do and how are we going to pay for it? But we also need to think about our budget process because we have set up a process that does not deal well with long-run obligations. Congress needs an opportunity to think about how to reconstruct the budget process. There are people here from the Congressional Budget Office, from the administration, from Congress, outside thinkers, people from think tanks, people who have observed the process, have come together in a nonpartisan, very bipartisan way to say it's broken, it's clear it's broken, how can we fix it? Right now, the United States is facing an outlook that is unprecedented in its history. Never before have we borrowed so much outside of wartime, never before have we promised to spend so much and been so unwilling to pay the bills and raise taxes. This problem will impede our ability to leave to our children a country that is better than the one we inherited. It. That's the fundamental task we have to address. We're on the precipice of some very difficult budget challenges uh, at the national level. Because our political system operates uh, very myopically, we worry about the next year or two years. Um, decision makers worry about being reelected. Uh, there is always a pressure to spend more and tax less. We dug ourselves in one depot right now, and I don't think there's anyone that uh, disagrees with that. Nobody looks down the road very far to see the impending train wreck uh, as we uh, run out of money for most of our entitlement programs. Who would have thought General Motors would be bankrupt? To those that believe our country cannot achieve the same unfortunate happening are living in a dream world, I believe. The market's going to determine this if we don't. Cindy, my wife and I, we now have four grandchildren. And what we're talking about now, the unsustainability of this deficit uh, and debt, uh, it's for them, it's not for me. The Peterson Pew Commission on Budget Reform is made up of the most respected and credible experts from the world of budgeting, people who've run OMB, CBO, the Federal Reserve Board, the budget committees. And when they make recommendations, people in the White House and on Capitol Hill take them very seriously. And the Peterson Pew Commission is aimed at trying to figure out what budget process reforms need to be. They really channel where, uh, where policymakers' energy is directed. It can uh, provide a structure in which difficult decisions can be made, and it can provide a little in the way of pressure uh, to make decisions when there's reluctance to move down difficult roads. So if you want to make a good budget, you need to have smart rules that are underlying it, you need to have things that enforce your budget, and you need to have the right incentives built in. We want budget rules to help focus on a longer cycle and even think about the next generational cycle so that we're budgeting in a way that's smart for today and for tomorrow. It's filled with people experienced in the problem from both the executive side and from the congressional side. Uh, it's a bipartisan commission, and it's a commission that's dedicated to making concrete proposals and not just worrying about, uh, gee, things ought to be better. And I hope that the work of the Peterson Pew Commission can contribute to getting us to a point where fiscal responsibility is the order of the day on Capitol Hill.